What's up? Welcome back to Birdies. I am Dee, and I really love birds. If you missed last week's episode, feel free to check it out right up there. We talked about pigeons. Just for a quick refresher, as always, our bird rubric is going to consist of bird smarts, bird call, plumage, eating habits, mating habits, flight patterns, and Dee's own bias, where I bring you more fun facts and I get extra points to rate, and it is very biased. So let's get into it. What bird are we talking about today? The ruddy kingfisher. Woo! So the ruddy kingfisher is in the family Halcyon coromanda. They're located in East and Southeast Asia. So the farthest north you'll see them is in South Korea and Japan. The farthest south you will find them is in the Philippines. And the farthest west that the ruddy kingfisher stretches is into China and India. They cover this cool little pocket in Southeast Asia. Their lifespan is very interesting because they typically don't survive longer than one breeding season. However, the oldest ruddy kingfisher on record lived to be 21 years old. They have a tendency to inhabit forested areas from temperate to tropical zones, meaning you'll see them in rainforests and thick jungles. Let's jump on in. Category number one, bird smarts. Kingfishers have incredible vision. They typically dive for their food into shallow rivers, and their eyes are actually able to adjust for refraction in the water, so they have more accurate dives when they're spearing for fish. That's really the only like crazy bird smarts fact that I could find, so for this category, I'm gonna give them a four out of 10. Moving on, bird call. <laughs> So because ready kingfishers inhabit heavily forested areas, typically you will hear them before you see them. Their call consists of loud chattering noises and the ready kingfisher song is described as being mournful whistles. It's actually really, really cute and I'll play it for you right now. See how cute that is? So that's their call. I think it's really cool. And for this category, I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. Moving on to plumage. This is another really good one. As you can see, the ready kingfisher is crazy looking. They're only about 25 centimeters tall or 10 inches. They have really giant, vividly red bills and their legs are also a very vibrant shade of red. The rest of their body is a pretty deep rust red with the feathers deepening to a purple as you get closer to the tail. So for this category, I'm going to give the ruddy kingfisher a nine out of 10, because they're beautiful. Category number four, eating habits. Kingfishers are considered carnivores. Their diet mostly consists of fish, crustaceans, and enormous bugs. But in areas where they tend to have less access to running water, they've also been seen to eat frogs and other amphibians. So for the eating habits category, not too much crazy stuff going on. I'm gonna give them a five out of 10. Category number five, we're moving into mating habits. Ready kingfishers mate for life and their mating displays tend to be a series of bowing. What will happen in this mating display is a male and a female will stand next to each other and they will bow in the same direction several times. Typically the male will bow lower than the female and occasionally the female will turn towards the male. It's nothing crazy, but that's what they do. Now, once a pair have mated, they typically lay six to seven eggs in a clutch and their nests are typically laid in the burrow of a riverbed or in a tree cavity. Now, these burrows and riverbeds are typically one to two meters long or between three and six or seven feet into the riverbed. But the longest recorded kingfisher nest was eight meters into the bed or 28 feet. That's so cool. So for this category, I'm gonna give the ready kingfisher a five out of 10. Moving into flight patterns, ruddy kingfishers are partially migratory. Birds residing in the most northern parts of where they're found will typically migrate as far south as Borneo in the winter. However, for ruddy kingfishers that are in warmer climates, they don't need to migrate at all. Territories for coupled kingfishers cover around one square kilometer of river. 
This allows them space to build their nest, to find food to eat, and to just chill. However, during the summer, a couple will split this territory so they each have some of it to themselves because they don't need to start breeding until the fall. So for this category, I'm gonna rate them a four out of 10. There's nothing crazy about them. They're still cool. Moving on to D's own bias. Reddy Kingfisher's beaks are designed specifically for them to be able to spear fish. They are able to fly very, very quickly, but they can also hover. Think of like a hummingbird in the way that they're able to jet around and then stay in one place for a long time. That's pretty much what it looks like. My last fact is that Reddy Kingfishers have a strong enough dive that they can even dive through a thin layer of ice on top of the water to spear a fish. All in all, pretty cool facts. I'm gonna give them an extra seven out of 10 points for this category. Sar, we did it. We made it through another bird. After adding up all of the scores, the Reddy Kingfisher gets an average 6.1 points out of 10. Not the lowest we've seen so far, but also not the highest. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you would rate the Reddy Kingfisher. And as always, leave me suggestions for what birds you think I should rate in the future. Until next time.